Hi hey guys, it's Wade McMaster here from Creator Impact. Uh, so I've just got this quick video today showing you how to use guidelines in Canva. Now, uh, I'm actually doing this in response to something I left out in a few videos because I just simply didn't realize guidelines existed in Canva until recently. So I thought I'd just create this little video to supplement those um, just so that way I can give you a bit of info on how you can make things a little bit easier. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna open up, I'm gonna create a design here. Uh, I'm gonna go type in YouTube, YouTube channel art. I recently did a video on YouTube channel art. Uh, you could do something similar for uh, Facebook. Because uh, I also have a Facebook uh, cover image tutorial for Canva. But uh, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to pop in, uh, if we're going to create, say, some YouTube channel art, I'm going to go into my uploads. And I'm going to choose this here. And pop this into place. So in my previous video, I actually had this set up where I would draw, I'd go into, uh, I'd find some elements, like a, like a square, and I would simply draw a square <laughs> where I wanted to put the content uh, and make it sort of transparent or like pop a border around it uh, in order to sort of act as an indicator as to where, where to put your content. But in this, I didn't actually realize you can uh, set up guidelines quite easily in Canva for this purpose. So I've got this template that's actually available on my site. I'll pop a link to it below. So if you do want to create some uh, uh, YouTube uh, cover art, you can do that. I go to File and Show Rulers and then File and Show Guides. Up the top here on a file, Show Rulers, Show Guides. You can also hit Shift R or Control and semicolon. You see here, now I can simply drag by clicking on the ruler and dragging down. I can drop and drop and simply pop guidelines where I want to go. And now I can delete that background. And now I actually have guidelines that I can use to create my image. So I go into my photos here. Uh, maybe I pick a, something that's free. Maybe a, something that's going to be pretty straightforward. Maybe this hand image. So if this is the background of my YouTube uh, cover image, which I never would use that, actually doesn't look too great. I can actually have these guidelines here. I can add in my bit of text there. Um, I, you know, I can add in some of my other text. And I can simply create it all within those guideline areas. Whoops. Within these guideline areas here and create my template. I actually don't need this weird box that I was using. So, but yeah, you can simply drag and create guidelines like that. And what's really good about that is if you download this, uh, you can see uh, it won't actually have the guidelines attached. So if I actually click uh, download of this JPEG, and then I open it, you'll see here it doesn't have any guidelines attached so that's just a quick little video quick little uh tip if you're going to be uh using it canva for anything you can actually create guidelines by popping your rulers and guidelines on the page quite easily and this also works if i get rid of this stuff here for a sec if i decided i wanted to do my uh facebook profile i could drop that in the background as well another template available on uh on my on the blog post i'll link to below I can use these guidelines again. I can get rid of these ones completely. And I can start designing within those guidelines. So that was just a quick little fix up, quick little video, uh, which I wanted to pop in here for you guys, just so it's gonna be a little bit easier, I think, to work with guidelines as opposed to drawing boxes <laughs> and things on your uh, on your canvas. So um, yeah, I hope that uh, that has helped you out. I hope that's made life a bit easier. Um, so yeah, if you've got any comments or questions, uh, please leave them below. Otherwise, I hope to talk to you again soon, and thanks for watching. See you later.